how are you guys holding up? It looks like more and more courses at universities across the world are converting from face-to-face -to, -face to virtual meetings because of the global COVID-19 pandemic. If you are teaching and do not know which video conference platform is the best for having a class online, here are my thoughts on the two most popular video conference platforms, Zoom and Skype. Both platforms make it possible to effectively do meetings, even if you and the other participants are in different cities or even countries. It definitely streamlines communication for business purposes. Here are the main points in understanding which is better between Skype and Zoom. Number one, pricing. Both Zoom and Skype have a free platform that single users can enjoy. By free, I mean it has all the basic features for it to be useful but has certain limitations. For instance, a free Zoom account allows you to conduct meetings, but you have a time limit of 40 minutes per meeting once your free trial runs out. For Skype, a free account cannot call out to international mobile and landline numbers without buying credits. So let's take a closer look at the pricing plans for Zoom and Skype. Zoom has different price points depending on what you will be using it for. A free account is perfect for personal use and for one-on-one -on -one meetings, but it has a 40-minute cap on group meetings. The $14.99 plan gets you everything the basic plans offer, but has a no cap on minutes for group meetings. You also get additional admin features to manage meetings and users. The $19.99 plans have two different categories, business and enterprise. The business plan is designed for smaller businesses with fewer people, so it allows for 100 participants. The enterprise plan allows for 200 participants and unlimited cloud storage for sharing files through Zoom. Fortunately, many universities now provide at least the pro version of Zoom to their faculty, staff, and students for free. Check if your institution or company subscribes to one of these versions of Zoom. On the other hand, Skype has two versions, free and the paid Skype for Business. Skype for Business has a two online plans. Online plan one costs $2 per user per month, and online plan two costs $5 and 50 cents per user per month. Plan 1 offers all the basic features at a low cost, while Plan 2 offers advanced functions like a high definition video sharing or screen sharing. One cool thing about Skype is that you automatically get a Skype for Business subscription if you purchase Microsoft Office 365. Number 2 features. One of the features of Zoom that really sets them apart is its recording features. It is great for educators who want to teach virtually and record themselves so they can share the video with students who missed class. For online meetings and conferences, Zoom also works better than Skype. Zoom has features like a breakout sessions, customize the meeting URLs, so your meeting is more secured, and a phone conference bridge. While Skype for Business allows 250 two-way participants, in contrast, Zoom's 50 two-way participants. Skype does not have the other features that make Zoom an excellent choice for online conferences. For educators, Zoom is the better choice between the two. 
Zoom has the raise your hand feature, breakout sessions, and collaborative tools controlled by the teacher or instructor. It also allows attendees to chat with each other through a built-in chat window. Skype for Business does not have any of these features, making it less unlikely to be used in a classroom setting. Both Zoom and Skype for Business have features that are great for team collaboration. Microsoft is actually rebranding Skype into Microsoft Team. So we have yet to see what additional features the tech giant will include. Number three, integrations. Skype and Zoom both have acquired a number of integrations that teams and project managers can use to streamline communication and file sharing between teams. Zoom supports cloud storage programs such as Microsoft OneDrive, Dropbox, and Google Drive. Other collaborative apps like Slack are also supported. It also supports CLM platforms and drawing platforms and can be used across different browsers. Skype, of course, is well integrated with all of the Microsoft Office 365's program, OneDrive, Dropbox, and Google Drive. As for mobile device integration, Zoom supports Apple devices, Android, and web platforms. Skype can be used in all of the operating systems where Zoom is available except for Windows. Windows mobile devices do not support Zoom unless it is used through a desktop or laptop. Number four, video quality. The most important consideration about video conference platforms is video quality. I have been using Skype for more than 10 years and it was my primary video conference platform until last year. My main complaint about Skype was the poor video quality and frequent sudden disconnections. Videos often got blurry or even froze so that I had to reconnect with the other parties. So Zoom is a lot better in video quality and has less connection issues. Video quality is quite essential in online teaching. So when you show your PowerPoint on the screen, but the video is blurry, the students cannot read the words on the slides. In this regard, Zoom is the better choice. Here is my conclusion. As someone who has used and still uses both platforms, which one is better really depends on what you are using it for. I prefer using Skype when I am calling my mom because I only use an audio call and I don't have to worry about the quality or the stability of my connection. Skype does have a tendency to freeze up when your connection is interrupted, but you can easily switch from video to just audio. Zoom, on the other hand, is more stable and better for a classroom setting, group meetings, webinars, and online conferences. If you are looking for a video conference platform for your class or group meeting, I highly recommend Zoom. In the next video, I will introduce the key features you can use when you offer a class virtually using Zoom. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe.